from. No, let me help you. You don't have to get away from. You can still grow and develop yourself in the midst of weedy people. Wow, wow. You, 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 can, you can still grow and develop even in the midst of people stealing from you. If the Lord planted you. Jesus, he tells us, he tells us, leave the weeds alone. Now, y'all, listen, <laughs> I, I just got this one on my feet. <laughs> the Lord just spoke to me. I got to give it to you. He says, now, your job is to leave them alone. <laughs> but their job is to bother you. <laughs> y'all ain't got it. See, see y'all, it was so simple until you missed it. I, I got it on my feet, but you got to notice. You see, he says, your job is to leave them alone. And then your job, y'all, their job is to bother you. Now, y'all, I stop right here, Carolyn, and I ask God, hold on, I got to talk to him. God, why? Why would you tell me to tell the people that? This is how I do when I'm writing my sermon. Why would you tell me to tell them that? I got, I got to hear. I got it. Because I need the folk to know the wheat, my children, that even though the wheat, the weeds have tried and you've gotten tired, I'm going to deliver you in spite of them. But watch this. You can't take the credit or the glory for it. You got to give me my due credit. Because I'm the only one who can provide for you while the wheat is taken away from you. He said, you tell my folk, I'm the only one who can add by subtracting. I'm the only one who can give to you when I take stuff away from you. Let me help y'all. Even though the enemy has tried to choke me out, God says, I'm still going to provide for you. God. Oh, okay, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go back. Come on, let's go back. Watch, watch this. He says, he says now, you, you got to understand, uh, they, they're competing with you, but it's okay. Uh, you leave the weeds alone. Stop giving them the attention. Oh, God. Uh, stop magnifying them. As if they are bigger than you. I don't know who I'm talking to right now, but, but you have made your problem bigger than you. Because you keep talking about it. God, yo, he says, yo, he says, now, now I need you to stop it. Stop it. Ask me why. I said, ask me why. Because he says, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against you in judgment, you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. Okay, all right. Let me, let me give you another lesson. Here's another one. What number am I on? This is number five? Are you sure? Okay, here's number five. Here's number five. Here's number five. Here's another lesson I want you to see in this text. Uh... Don't be so weed focused that you forget that you still have wheat. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Here it is. He says, y'all, he says, now, don't, don't be so weed focused that you forget that you still have wheat. Leave the weeds alone. There's more wheat than there is weeds. You know, it's very easy for us who are pastors, it's very easy for us who are pastors to um, focus on the unruly sheep than to focus on the sheep who are following. Huh? 
it's really easy, you know. You know, you got to endure hearing pastor, you know, talk about what the unruly sheep are not doing. <laughs> and, 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 and then you like, well, what about us who are? And then when you do the numbers, you discover that those who are not are in the minority. But then those who are, are in the majority. But if you let the devil, he will make you focus on the weeds and neglect the wheat. I'm trying to help somebody, y'all. I'm trying to. Okay, that, that's, that's Pat. Let me just, let me, let me do it like this because you didn't like the pastoral piece that I gave you. Um, you, you ever, you ever, you ever, you ever, you ever dated a, a guy, talking to the women now, dated a guy, and uh, you, uh, yeah, that's, that's what I said. I'm like, that's what I said. I'm specific. I'm talking to the women. You, you ever dated a guy and, uh, and um, he did you wrong? No, don't answer, but you just know I'm in the ballpark. Just look like an amen. Don't, don't say amen. Just look like one. Well, um, he did you so bad until you, could, you, you really could walk away saying something like, you know, men are just dogs. It, it'll make you be so emphatic that you'll say, Men are just dogs. And then you go, know, well, now, wait a minute. You only dated one man. Out of the 300 million guys. And now all of a sudden, men are dogs. Don't get, don't get comfortable, brothers. Don't get comfortable. I, I, I got some brothers, you know, like, man, I ain't. I, I ain't dating no more black women. I ain't dating them. I ain't dating them. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, can, I can tell the hair started rising up on y'all's back. I can tell. Yeah. You know, you say, you know, you know man, black, black women, they nothing but gold diggers. Now, he done just lump all of the women into one category where they focus in on the actions of one and have now neglected the other three million who are not gold diggers. And they use that as an excuse to cross over. I, I, I ain't going. That's all I want to say. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, yeah. Now, but y'all, can you understand that somewhere along the line, we in fact, mess up when we focus more on the weeds and neglect the wheat. Are you with me? Huh? Y'all, y'all, stop going to bed at night thinking about the weeds that are in your life. Huh? I mean, y'all, 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 stop going through your day with your weeds on your mind. Stop preoccupying your mind with what people have done to you and what they have said about you and how they have hurt you. Y'all, stop it. Forget about the weeds. This is a part of life. Everywhere you go, there's going to be some weeds. If you move from Maryland and go to Atlanta, some weeds in Atlanta. Go to New Orleans, weeds in, 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 in New Orleans. If you go to the Vatican where the Pope lives, y'all, they weeds it there in Rome. The good news is you can grow and develop in spite of the weeds. Now, I don't know who I'm talking to, but I'm helping you, and I know I'm helping you. Yo, I told you, you ain't got to move, baby. Stop calling the moving company. What you need to know is that you can grow and be developed in spite of your weeds. Stay where you are and let God grow you right where you are. Oh, God, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. God, yeah, I wish I had time to let y'all testify for me. I wonder, can anybody testify that you have grown, that you have grown, you have grown, that God's blessed you in spite of the weeds that are around you? I wish I could have time for somebody to just testify that there is weeds in your life that tried to take from you, but God blessed you in spite of your weeds. I wish I had time, y'all, for somebody who wasn't ashamed to stand up and testify and say, Lord, you know what? I have weeds all in my life, but if the truth be told, you bless me in spite of the weeds. That's why he said, I prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. Preach, Pastor. I'm doing the best I can, y'all. He said, I will prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. I'll let the weeds grow around you. And I'll provide for you in the midst of the weeds trying to steal from you. Sometimes, sometimes the devil will come to you and when you have weeds and it will make you so mad that you won't even spend your time dealing with your wheat. I have to trust God that he will he'll help me to grow. God will help, help me to reach my potential. Everything that God intended for me to be will come to pass, even in the midst of my weeds. Y'all, it's a wonderful thing when the devil puts weeds all around me for the purpose of stunting my development and my growth and yet he can't stop me from becoming everything God wants me to be. I said it's a wonderful thing to know that the devil doesn't have that kind of power, y'all, that he can't stop me from growing and becoming and developing into what God has for you. It's a wonderful thing to know that God still has more power than the devil. Y'all, I know it's true because y'all, 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 y'all he, he tried to steal my water, but God still made me. Y'all, he tried to take from me, but God still provided for me. God provides while we, y'all, tries to prevent. Please get that, y'all. God provides even while we tries to prevent. Oh, man. Y'all, it's a wonderful thing when the devil puts weeds all around you for becoming everything God wants you to be. Y'all, God provides while we tries to prevent. Look at you, y'all. You still got your car? Still got a roof over your head? Still have your family? Still got your clothes? Still got the, y'all, you got, you, you still have your mind? Huh? Come on, talk to me. Y'all, you still got your mind? It's, it, it's bogged down with some stuff, but you still got it? Huh? Y'all, what God has for me, it is for me. If God has water for me, I will get the water. If he has nutrients for me, I'm going to get the nutrients. I don't care how much you steal from me. If God planted me, he will provide for me. I'm going to get what God has for me, and I will grow even in the midst of weeds on my job. People who try to end my career, I'll still grow. Even in the midst of my weeds. <laughs> Come on, talk to me, Jackie. Even in the midst of my weeds, folk will try to end my career for me. But in the midst of the weeds, God will still elevate me. <laughs> oh, yes, he, God will still elevate me. God will still, yo, yo, he will, in the midst of my haters, God will still bless me. My haters are my elevators. <laughs> God will make my enemies my footstool. Yeah, y'all, let, me, let me give y'all another lesson and I'll leave you alone. I'm through. Here's my, my time is gone. Let me give you this other lesson. Here it is. My next lesson is this. Here's, here it is. Um, the other lesson I see in this text is this one. Sometimes helping is hurting. Hmm. Give it back to me. Sometimes helping is hurting. They ask the owner, do you want us to pull up the weeds? The owner said, no. Why? Because sometimes your helping is actually 
hurting. Hurting. Y'all, we have to learn how to struggle through our imperfections. Y'all, there are those of you who will agree that you would not be half the person you are if it wasn't for the struggle you went through. Let me, let me give you this other piece. This is going to get you. Y'all, we can't always be delivered from some stuff. Some stuff you're going to have to struggle through. You can't always be delivered from some stuff. Y'all, some stuff you're going to have to struggle through. Some stuff you're going to have to learn to coexist with. Because sometimes your helping me is hurting me. Pastor, pastor, pastor. Are you, are you sure? I mean, come on. Can you, don't, doesn't God want me to be delivered from everything? Well, let me just, let me show you this. Paul, Paul is, Paul is out there. He says, hey, Lord, would you take from me this thorn in my flesh? The Lord said, no. But then he put this on the end of it. My grace is sufficient. There's some stuff you won't be delivered from. You're going to have to struggle through. Y'all, there's some things you're going to have because sometimes you're helping me is hurting me. Um, the story is told of this butterfly. Butterfly man found a cocoon of a butterfly. He found this cocoon of a butterfly. And one day while watching the cocoon, the man noticed that um, a small opening on the cocoon appeared. So he decided to pull up a chair and he sits down and he watches the butterfly for several hours. He watched the butterfly for those hours as it struggled to squeeze its body through the tiny hole. And while he was watching it, hours had gone by, and then the butterfly stopped moving as if it couldn't go any further. So the man, he decided in his brilliance to help the butterfly out. He got a pair of scissors, and he snipped off the remaining bits of the cocoon. The butterfly emerged easily, but it had a swollen body and shriveled wings. The man continued to watch it over time, expecting that any minute now, the wings would enlarge and expand enough to support the body. But guess what? Neither happened. In fact, the butterfly spent the rest of his little, uh, his life crawling around. It was unable to fly. What the man, in his kindness and haste, did not understand. That the restricting the cocoon, the restricting cocoon, and the struggle required by the butterfly was there to get the butterfly through the opening. It was a way of, of, of forcing the fluid from the body of the butterfly into the wings so that the wings would be ready for flight once that was achieved. Y'all, sometimes struggles are exactly what we need in our lives. Going through life with no obstacles can cripple us. We will not be as strong as we could have been and we would never fly if we would never had struggles in our lives. The butterfly needed to struggle in order to push the fluid from its body into its wings. When we clip our children from going through consequences, we are preventing them from understanding and learning how to fly. You would not be half the person you are 
had you not gone through what you've gone through. And so rather than you cursing your struggles, why don't you celebrate your struggles? Because had I not gone through what I went through, I would have not known how able God is. Uh, you know, sometimes it appears as though the weeds are getting by because while I'm growing, the weeds are growing also. I don't like it because, y'all, to me, it looks like the weeds are just as big as I am, growing like I'm growing. They doing wrong and still getting stuff too. I'm doing right and I can barely get by. Don't look like to me that y'all we're on the same playing field, but y'all to me, they growing and surpassing me. What? Why, Pastor? Because while I'm growing, the weeds are growing also. It, it's interesting that it may seem as though the weeds are growing faster than the wheat. Now, you, you got to understand something about weeds. Weeds pop up quickly. Yeah. If you don't believe me, go home and cut your grass. Next day, dandelions are all in your grass, y'all, because weeds pop up quickly. See, just because your enemies pop up from out of nowhere, let me help you up. Don't worry. Because sooner or later, harvest time is coming. My time's gone. I got to quit, y'all. But I said harvest time is what? Y'all, and when harvest time comes, God will cut down everything. 